Today on Advice, we are talking about holiday shopping and marketing that influences our purchases. Joining us with more is Ryan Townend, CEO of William Joseph Communications. Good morning, Ryan. How's it going? Good, good. Thanks for joining us today. We are talking about marketing, but more so stimulating the senses. Ryan, what is tactile marketing? Yeah, well, it's the, the perfect time of the year to let it sparkle, let it snow. So it's marketers, it's marketers dream come true. Right now, Christmas is such a big time for retailers and small businesses and local organizations to be selling their goods and services that we at marketers want to really make sure that we help them do it properly. And tactile marketing is where we use our senses to really stimulate the sales cycle. Okay, and we are getting festive, so what are some of those examples, Ryan? Well, when you think about it, like you think about the sounds of music, the, the smells that you see, all the visual cues, it's, it's the most wonderful time of year. So we're going to walk through today some of the different senses that uh, we talk about. So first of all, I think we're going to start with the smell. So when you think of Christmas, you think of pine needles and pine trees. You think of like, again, the smell of cinnamon. It's, it's really an important aspect of your brand to, to show that or to let customers experience that, uh, that scent in your space. And it goes beyond Christmas. Like if you think of like the smell of leather, it's luxury. If you think of other uh, studies that have been done in the, the spring, that if they have the smell of grass in like um, home centers, they think that the service levels are actually increased. So smell plays a really big part in, in your customer shopping journey. Okay, Ryan, we have smell. How about sound? And how about some things to also grab the eye? Yeah, for sure. So when you think about sound, we walk into the stores. What do we hear? Well, we don't hear heavy metal music at Christmas. We hear uh, maybe a little bit of Mariah and a little bit of Nat King Cole. So that gets you really in the mood. It's the nostalgia side, and it really kind of, like again, sets the tone. When you think of visuals, we think about things like window displays. Like think about Herod's, uh, you know, how they have set the stage for what draws people into their store. It's it's eye-catching, it's inspirational. And these are all things that you can do as a business owner to um, also help set the stage for your customers going forward. And Ryan, also important, what are some examples on taste? Yeah, so when we think about this, like we worked with a company um, that we did this most elegant design for uh, like their gin spirits. It's it's beautifully decorated and designed, and I think what it does is it it again sets the customer's experience of when they see the packaging and they see the product, they know exactly the quality that they're going to be getting. And Ryan, does this type of marketing work online as well? Do you have some online examples? Yeah, well, actually, and there's one other visual example I wanted to just quickly talk about is Primaris. We work with a national mall um, organization, and they have some malls right across Canada. And we did this amazing Christmas campaign with them about, um, like, their gift cards. And it's just really a simple color palette that's super refined. The shapes are really distinctive, so you can see it a mile away. When you think about going and taking all of this experiential marketing and you bring it online, it's definitely um, similar but different. You can utilize things like video. Video captures the imagination. We've seen all of these Christmas uh, videos that you know bring tears to your eyes or make you laugh. I think also like online, you have to watch the little marketers tricks because they'll do things where they'll play little pricing games where they'll set the bar high and then you'll scroll down a little bit and then you'll see a, a bit of a discount and then you'll think you're getting a good deal. So there's just a lot of uh, science behind the magic of the holidays and uh, you as a marketer should be aware of those. Great information on marketing and tapping into our senses and festive season. Thanks for chatting today, Ryan. Happy holidays to everyone out there and to you all at Global.